ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Backyard Baseball 2003, the worst possible team season playthrough, and the microphone is working in my comeback video, Game 10. I recorded the entire video completely unaware that my microphone was literally not even plugged into my computer. It's working now, and let's get into this game. So we are 0 and 10. We've got just four games left. We want to win at least one game. We had a very tough loss in the last game against the White Sox. We lost 3-1 to one in a game that, truth be told, was one of our best offensive performances of the entire season thus far. But as usual, it was not enough. Thor Herring, solid as usual on the mound as well. Nine strikeouts, but as often happens, we have one bad play. Our opponent gets a power-up. That turns into a couple runs. And with this team, if we are down by more than one run, we just can't play catch-up. We just can't because our offense is not built, or I should say they're not talented enough to get more than, you know, one run per game. So this week, we are on the road at Ekman Acres. We have one big decrease. That's to Heidi Thurman. She is down to two at fielding. If you watch this series a lot you know that Heidi Thurman has one of the best arms in the entire game so we will see how this affects her play at third base. Dana Sakula is up to four at batting up from her usual three and we are playing the Tigers. They have the very dangerous Bobby Higginson. They have Parker Collum. They got Stuart Sullivan at catcher. He is blazing fast. They got Sally Dobbs who's got a pretty nice boost today. So they got some pretty talented players but they have some players that aren't very fast either and I keep on mentioning this as much as I love striking out players with Thor. The goal is to try and turn double plays. Maybe we have to start doing intentional walk cheese, but I feel that the only way we can rack up multiple hits and RBIs in a row on offense is by getting enough power up. So that's still the goal. Let's just jump into this game, man. Oh, and 10. Tough road stretch here to end the season. Let's get into this, guys. Diana Hayes, starting pitcher for the Tigers. Victoria Schamberg had a good leadoff hit last week. Let's see if we can do it again. Victoria Schamberg holding very strong here at the plate. All right, that's a seven pitch at bat, but Stuart Sullivan, so fast behind the plate, but hey, you know what? Seven pitches for your first at bat. Not a bad AB for Victoria Schamberg there. She fought pretty hard. Cameron Haynes scored the lone run that we had last week. It was off an RBI single by Heidi Thurman. He's gonna ground out here though, out number two. Heidi Thurman, that's gonna be a grounder down the third baseline. Good throw from the third baseman right to Sally Dobbs. Just like that, one, two, three inning. We're on defense. I'm just telling y'all, imagine if Thor Herring had run support. Best pitcher in the league. I mean, he is leading the league in strikeouts with the worst offense backing him up and probably the worst defense as well. He's got talent. All I can say is that. Bobby Higginson. One of the most annoying pros to play against when the CPU uses him. He's very underrated, but he's... A solid contact hitter, great on defense. He's got some good speed, too. He is a pain. And there's a sharp grounder right there. He might beat Quentin to the bag. Look at that. Oh, that is pitiful. That just, that just sums up our team right there. Oh, my gosh. And Parker Collum way ahead of that one. Strikeout number one. Thor Herring. Somehow Sally Dobbs does not have a hit the entire season. It's game 11. We are way past the halfway mark of the season and Sally Dobbs triple zeros. Especially because Sally Dobbs is not a bad player by any means. But her hitless streak is going to continue because Thor Herring strikeout number two. This inning is over. Let's go, baby. And this is how these games always start. We have a pretty good first two or three innings on defense. Offense does nothing, and then the floodgates open, the CPU gets a good hit, and that's it. Although Dana Sakula gonna get a single right there. Great way to open up this inning. Good hit. There we go. But as we know, can we get further than just first base? We can put up singles now. We have improved on offense. We're able to get to first base somewhat consistently, but we just have a hard time getting all the way around the bases. We're just too slow for that. Oh, that is pitiful, but can Dana get to second? Okay, come on, Dana. I don't want this to be a double play. This, don't, don't let this to be a double play. Dana's going to get to second. Ooh, wow, Wayne Pittman just barely out. Oh, man, imagine if we had two aboard with no outs, although Thor Herring would have been up, so, you know, that's triple play territory. But, hey, a runner on second, only one out. We can work with this. 
Thor Herring. That's right to their shortstop. Probably shouldn't have gone for that. Can Thor... Oh, that's a great throw. I was going to say, Thor not even sprinting. He can't even get there with sprinting. We are just so slow. For all you guys who say, you're not sprinting with the players. You're not sprinting. That's what I did with sprinting. I just sprinted with Thor right there. That's what 1 of 10 speed looks like with sprinting. Sprinting does not work with these players. Don't tell me that in the comments. Claire Nelson with a pretty nice looking 450 batting average. And can she keep it going? Claire Nelson going to get to first? Oh, jeez. What am I doing? I just ruined it for Claire Nelson. That should go in the record books as a hit. And Dana's going to be safe. Claire Nelson gets a hit. Dude, Claire Nelson is kind of on one right now. She keeps on figuring out ways to get on base. Ivan King with the soft fly. And this is going to be an easy out, but you know. Not a horrible inning. We can put up hits. We can get hits consistently. We just can't convert them into runs. Alright, I am scared of Stuart Sullivan. Just any player above... A 6 of 10 at running is our kryptonite. Stewart. Oh, gosh. See, even that, dude. Even that is just a massive hit. He's going to get to second. Although, can we get him? Dana, why did she leave the bag? Why did she leave the bag? If she had stayed there, we might have gotten him out. Just like that, the fastest player on their team is on second base, and he's probably going to score if Diana, if Diana puts this in play. Why would you go for that, Heidi? No, and I can't throw that. There's nothing I can do. She can have first. Great. Runners at the corners, no out. This is exactly what happens every single time. All it takes is one play. All it takes is one screw up for us on defense, and it's game over. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Cameron to Quinn. Double play. Okay. Okay. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. We allow a run, but we just got a power up. Might have been worth it. That actually might have been worth it. It worked out. It actually might have worked out. We're down 1-0. But we have a power-up. Christy Mulligan strikes out. It's number three on the day for Thor Herring. We are heading into the top of the third with a power-up. Let's see what we got. We're going to save it for later no matter what, but let's see what we got. And it's a crazy bunt. Well, tell you what. Despite how slow our players are, Ekman Acres is such a deep park that a crazy bunt can potentially be devastating even if we use it. If it goes out into center field, we have like, you know, Cameron Haynes or Victoria Schamberg using it. That could be an inside the park home run, even with their speed. Quentin Driver gets walked. Wow. On five pitches, we got a runner on. Now that we've got a runner on and we've got Victoria Schamberg up, I'm really tempted to use the crazy bunt, but I know we can't. We just can't. That was nearly a double play right there. Quentin's back. Jeez. Oof. That was a slow ball. Like, that was a slow, slow ball. Cameron Haynes is going to get to first, so we avoid the double play. Two outs, though. Heidi Thurman with the pitiful grounder. Oh, my gosh. Can I get an easier out than that? Still down one nothing. Oh, it's just so crazy looking at the scoreboards and seeing that we are, like, able to match teams hit for hit. We really are. We're actually able to keep pace with these teams on offense, but, we, you know, the difference is they can score runs and we can't. Strikeout number four for Thor Herring. Four for Thor. Let's keep on going, baby. Thor is cooking. That's a grounder for Tatiana. Why are you leaving the bag, Quentin? Your job is to stand there. Mm. Could have been an easy out. And now we got Bobby Higginson up. Unless that was a 300 IQ play. Heidi. Oh, that was a great throw. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, no way. Quentin Driver has 300 IQ. He knew that was going to happen. Quentin Driver intentionally botched that last play because he knew we'd be able to turn a double play. Let's go. Bobby Higginson is an idiot. He went for it. That's two double plays. Let's go. What did we get? Undergrounder. We're starting to stack power-ups. Oh, Pitiful grounder. Dana going to be out like... Easy. Diana Hayes still looking for her first strikeout of the game. Wayne Pittman, though, gets that grounder. Going to be an easy out, though. Two away. Thor Herring. Hey, that's great contact for him, but going to be an easy out. It's like, what else can you say? You're like, oh, wow, that's actually not a bad hit, and that's an easy out. That's just how it is with this team on offense. Parker Column goes 
down on strikes again. Five strikeouts for Thor. Having himself a game. Sally Dobbs. Still hitless on the season. He's elite, man. Elite pitching. This is Stuart Sullivan. He's got that speed. He scored last time. Gonna do this fireball. No shame. Seven strikeouts on the day for Thor. He's gonna get to rest up, though. Heading into the fifth inning. We've still got these power-ups on deck. That's gonna be a pop fly, though. Gonna be out number one. So basically, if we get to the top of the sixth and we are still down one nothing, I'm just gonna use the power-ups no matter what and we'll see if we can, you know, tie it up. I would like to use them with base runners on, but you know, with this team, getting base runners is so inconsistent that I just don't want to leave any of them behind, you know what I mean? I would rather get, you know, natural base runners with regular hits, but you can't rely on that with this team. Ivan King hits it into the gap. Their third baseman's gonna get under that. Good throw, out number two. Ooh, man, I was trying to draw another walk with Quentin. That one was barely in the strike zone. Three outs, but we gotta hold him here. That's the key. We gotta hold him here. That was not a very long inning, so Thor still pretty tired, but thankfully we got that more juice power up. Okay, oh my gosh. She she's slow, but we're slow too. Wayne, make this throw. Out number one. I have an idea. I just checked Esther French's stats. And I well, actually, that's a pretty good hit. So she's got a hit. The next runner after her, 3 of 10 at running, guys. Chrissy Mulligan, 3 of 10. And then Esmeralda Hyman, 3 of 10. Are y'all thinking what I'm thinking? I think you know what I'm thinking. Why would she bunt? That makes me scared. Do they have a crazy bunt on deck? Well, that's not happening. I was trying to do a double play. I was like, we got some slow runners coming up. We can get a double play here. Nope. Again, what can I do if they just swing at these? There's nothing I can do in that case. Oh, she's going for it. Can we get her out? Nope. Nice drop, Cameron. Strikeout number nine for Thor, matching his total from the last game. Okay, it's go time. We got the fastest players in the lineup. You know what time it is. Let's go. This is where we get it done. Undergrounder. Here we go. Gotta go for it. What? That's Cap. Are you kidding me? Oh, this game is screwing me over. That is such BS. I'm astounded. I can't believe what just happened. Did I just blow it? What's going on? What's going on? What the hell is going on? If I swear, if this ball doesn't go into the outfield. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. I'm sprinting with Cameron. I don't care if he loses all of his energy. Do not let that be a ground rule double. Do not let that be a ground rule double. Cameron's going to get inside the park home run. Let's go. Let's go. Do not rule this a ground rule double. Let's go. Cameron Haynes ties it up. That's what you get, game. That's what you get for trying to cheese me. At the very least, we tied it up. Let's go. We're still alive. And we still got one. Okay. We still have a crazy bun. Good. If we get runners on base, we can keep using it. When I swung with Victoria Schamberg and lost the undergrounder, I nearly lost it. But we are tied. I can't believe it. We gotta use it. We gotta use it now. Actually... Do I save it now? Because we're tied. If I use it now, there's no guarantee we're gonna score. So I might waste it, right? I've already used it twice. I've already had two swings with it, got one run off it. So I've already used it twice. I could use it now, but neither Dana nor uh, Wayne Pittman are fast enough to get all the way around the bases and get it inside the park home run to put us up 2-1. So there's no guarantee that I'm gonna get it a fourth time and there's no guarantee that I'm gonna score again. So I think I'm gonna save it. I think I'm gonna play for the tie. And even if in the next inning, the Tigers go up, go back up by one run, we, can, we still have the crazy bunt basically. So I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it. Gotta be smart with it. I cannot believe I blew it with the undergrounder. I thought that swing was on time. That pitch was in the strike zone. I thought I had it. Good hit by Dana. Although she's not gonna get to first. Yeah. 
Uh, number three. Okay. Heading into the bottom of the sixth, we are tied. We are tied. We got to shut them down. And we got the top of their lineup. Jeez. Thankfully, Thor is all the way gassed up. We got ourselves a ball game, though. We could have extra innings baseball here if we hold them. Come on. Get to her. All right. Runner on first. And then Bobby Higginson's up. Can we hold him or will it all come unraveled here? She's going to steal. Great. Great. Runner on second. No outs. Not even going to fool around with any double play foolishness. We got to just go for it. Throw out at third. Okay. Couldn't make the throw across the field, but we got the out at third. Oh, that's a great hit. That's going to bring Bobby home. No, it's not. That's a ground rule double. The hit list Sally Dobbs is up. This is so tense. This is the most tense game we've had since the Yankees game, I think. This is crazy. Sally Dobbs. Another strikeout. 10 for Thor Herring. 10. That's his, that, that matches his season high. Oh, gosh. It's Stuart Sullivan. Oh, this is just... This is nightmarish. If we can get past this stage of the Tigers lineup, we might be okay. Oh, gosh. Okay. Make the throw home, Heidi. Make the throw home. No! Crap. I didn't realize that that was a walk-off. That was it. That was the game-winning run. Wow. And we leave a crazy bunt on deck. And I know that y'all are going to be roasting me in the comments saying, why didn't you use the crazy bunt? I'm going to say it now. Before you roast me in the comments, I had already used the crazy bunt for two swings. I swung it once. It was a strike. And I used it again and got the inside the park home run with Cameron Haynes, okay? My next batter up was Dana. I had it for a third attempt. Dana is 3 of 10 at running. She, I think she's boosted to 4 of 10 running for that game, maybe. My next batter after her was Wayne Pittman, who was 1 of 10 at running. If I used the crazy bunt and, you know, I used it with Dana, there is no guarantee that she would have gotten all the way around the bases, okay? So let's just say she gets the hit but she's left stranded on second. Well, then Wayne Pittman is up, and there's no guarantee that I'm going to get the crazy bunt for the fourth time, right? Because that's just very, very rare. So that was my thinking. That's why I said, okay, you know what? I trust my defense because we've been pretty locked down the whole game to, you know, keep it tied up. And when we get up to bat next, we'll just have the crazy bunt again. That was my thinking. I can't believe it. We just keep on coming up with more and more heartbreaking ways to lose. We are actually really competitive in these games. And that's the painful part about it. It's not like we're getting blown out every single week. We are actually competitive with some of these teams. But we are just one step behind. We are like always one play away from winning these games. And that's what's so painful. We are o. Oh, and 11, y'all. Gosh. Cameron Haynes, two for three, including the inside the park home run off that crazy bunt. As far as base runners go, we were just four for 21. Definitely not our best game. Thor Herring, though. Dude, 10 strikeouts, 59 pitches thrown, 59 strikes. Not a single pitch outside of the strike zone for Thor. One of his most locked down performances of the season all goes to waste. Just incredible. It is incredible how close we are to actually being a decent team, and we're just one step away. We are one play away from doing well. And this is the most incredible thing. Our scoring streak extends to four games in a row, so we aren't even getting shut out anymore. We are literally hanging in there. One to four, one to eight against the Angels. Okay, you know, they, they blew us out because of Shohei Otani. White Sox, three to one loss. Tigers, two to one loss. Rangers, 2-0 loss, even going back. We are actually competitive in most of the games we've played, yet we are just, we, we just aren't good enough. We, we aren't good enough to close out these very close games, and that's just what hurts the most. So, I don't know, guys. We've got the Hornets, we've got the Angels, and we've got the A's. Three games left. We still have not won a game. What do we do? Make sure to subscribe and like this video. I'll see you guys in the next game. Oh.